Hi, this is Mrs. McPhee, and we were talking about surface area. That is one of the topics coming up on our quiz on Thursday. Uh, the other topic will be those wonderful transversals that cut through parallel lines, maybe one transversal, maybe two transversals, and all of those wonderful angle relationships that show up. So that will be coming up on our quiz Thursday. Today we're talking about surface area, and a lot of students seem to struggle the most with the cylinder. Um, and looking at one of the questions in our book, I thought that might be a problem that some of you get a little stuck with. So I'm going to look at number 12 with you. The height is one inch. You're welcome. The diameter is given in this problem, and the diameter is given as nine inches. And that's going to um, maybe cause you a little concern when you start finding the radius and squaring it. So I thought that's a good problem for us to look at together. Again, we're finding surface area. We're finding the outside of that shape how much plastic was used to make it, if it was a container, how much wrapping paper is used if we're gonna wrap it. And it's comprised of two circles. Area of a circle is pi r squared, and there's two of them. Plus, we talked about that the center between these two circles is really a rectangle. And if we look at our rectangle, the base of the rectangle is actually a circumference of a circle. And circumference is two times pi times r. You could do pi times diameter. I just choose not to because that way I'm using the radius both times. So that's the base and then of course my height of the rectangle is the height of the prism. And now I can substitute. I have 2 times pi. If the diameter is 9, half of that is 4 and a half. And then I'll square it. Plus 2 times pi times my radius, which is 4 and a half, times my height, which is 1. I get 2 times pi, 4 and a half times 4 and a half is 20 and 25 hundredths. Plus 2 times 4 and a half, we're back to 9 times pi times 1. So we just have 9 pi here. Here we have 20 and a half times 2. 2 times 20 is 40. A quarter times 2 is a half, so we get 40 and a half pi plus 9 pi. And now we can combine our like terms. If this was 40 apples and 9 apples, we would just add the apples. This is 40 and a half of a number plus 9 of the same number. So combining our like terms, we get 49 and a half pi, which means we really only have to multiply by 49 and a half one time. This is actually a great answer. It's very accurate. It's exact in inches squared. The issue is it's not as practical because what does 49 and a half pi look like? So this is where I want you to finish up by using our estimate of pi, 3 and 14 hundredths, and do that multiplication. So we get 20, carry the 2, 38, carry the 3, and that's 19 with our placeholder, and then 5 and 9 and 4 and two placeholders. 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1, 27, 28, carry the 2, 12, and 14. We add it up, we get 0, 13, carry the 1, 18, 19, and 5 is 24, carry the 2, 10, and 5 is 15, carry the 1, and then be sure that we look at our three digits behind our decimal and include that in our final answer. So the surface area of our cylinder for number 12 should be approximately 155 and 4 tenths inches squared. I hope that helps a little bit. Feel free to ask me any questions tomorrow and have a great day. Doing a great job. Bye.